Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in the series. We're going to be talking about the integral of natural logs. And before we do that, I want to really quick, um, you can see the objectives here, but I want to really quick review the derivatives, right? So if you have y equals the natural log of x, then the derivative of that would be 1 over x times the derivative of x, which is 1, okay? And then if I made this in the more general form, I would say that the natural log of u, whatever that is, and we saw some that could have a whole bunch of different things in there for u. But basically, when you take the derivative of that, you would do 1 over u times the derivative of u, whatever that is, and then simplify afterwards. All right, so this is finding the derivative. So now, if you're going to be finding the integral, right, then you would integrate the derivative to get back to the original function. All right, so that's where we're headed. So here in general form then would be how we would integrate. All right, so if we look over here, we would have, remember this, 1 over x. When we integrate 1 over x, we're going to go back to the natural log of x plus c. Now notice that x has to be positive, so you put the absolute value around it. All right, so in general, if I have u prime over u dx, then when I integrate this, I'm going to get back to the natural log of u plus c, and u has to be absolute value, it has to be positive, because you can't take, the negative numbers are not in the domain of natural log. All right, so let's integrate this, right? So um, on here, I have the integral of 5 over x dx. 5 is a constant, so I could rewrite this as 5 natural log of 1 over x dx and so my integral would be 5 natural log absolute value of x plus c. So this next one looks like to me it's a u substitution. So let's rewrite this as uh, and let u be 5x plus 3 so du would be 5 dx, right? So if I rewrite this, I have 5x plus 3 dx, right? I need a 5 and a 1 -fifth. And so if I rewrite as a u, right, this would be 1 -fifth u prime over u du, so the integral of that would be 1 -fifth natural log absolute value of u plus c, so that's 1 -fifth natural log of 5x plus 3 plus c. So here's our next example. We're going to take the integral of x plus 3 dx over x squared plus 6x, and you're going to see that one of the things, though, that you might consider before you tackle one of these problems is to see if something simplifies. And so I'm just, you know, looking here in the denominator, and I am seeing that an x could be factored out here. This would be x times x plus 6, but that doesn't cancel with anything. So that is that was a possibility, but that isn't going to work. So let's let's think about u substitution. Let's say, let's say, does, if u equals x squared plus 6x, then du would be 2x plus 6, you know, dx. All right, and so what am I given? Well, I'm given x plus 3. Well, if you notice, if you just multiply that by 2, I get this. So the u thing is going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that by 2. You multiply by 2, you multiply by the outside by 1 half. So I end up with 1 half, the integral of 1 over u, du. Okay, so that's just going to be one half the natural log of u of absolute value plus c. And so what is u? Well, one half natural log of x squared plus 6x plus c. And that's your answer. So let's try this with a trig function. 
Okay, so once again, this is in the natural log section, the transcendental section. So once again, let's see if we can let u be tangent x, then du, the derivative of tangent, is secant squared x dx. Okay, well that's handy because looky there, that's what we have. So I end up with 1 over u du, so this is going to be the natural log, natural log, the absolute value of u plus c. I didn't even have to add anything. So this will be the natural log of the absolute value of tangent x plus c. Okay, so another technique then to solve an integration problem, especially like this one, since u substitution will not work, is to use long division to simplify. And so we're going to review long division and then also how to use that then to integrate this problem. So the first thing we want to do is we want to divide. So we want to divide our function, x to the third. Notice that there is no x squared function. So I'm going to put 0, sorry, 0x zero squared minus 6x minus 20. So be sure that you have a placeholder in there. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I know x times x squared is going to get me x to the third x squared times 5 is 5x squared. I'm going to subtract. So this is negative 5x squared minus 6x. So I'm going to bring this down. All right, back to the top. I'm going to say minus 5x. So if I do um, that, that's going to be negative 5x squared minus 25x and add. All right. And so that's going to give me 19x minus 20. So now what I want to do is I know that 19 times x is 19x. So I'm going to add 19 up here. This will be 19x plus 95. 19 times 5 is 95 and then subtract. Don't forget to subtract. So that's going to give me negative 1, 1, 5. And that, since I'm you know, done with that, is my remainder. So if I by dividing x cubed minus 6x minus 20 by x plus 5, this is what I end up with. So equals integral of x squared minus 5x plus 19 minus 1, 1, this is my remainder, 1, 1, 5 over the divisor dx. Well, that's basically a polynomial with a natural log. So when you go ahead and take the integral of this, you're going to have x to the third over 3 minus 5x squared over 2 plus 19x minus 115 times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus 5, ah, out of room, plus c. So that's why we divide it, to make it into something easier to take the integral. So obviously we're going to need to practice this some more, and so that's what we're going to do in class when you come to class. So I'd like for you to go back over these notes and make sure that you understand or at least can write down some questions about specific things we need to go over when you come to class. Uh, probably we're going to have to review long division and uh, once it's in long division the integral is not that hard. Alright, so I'll see you in class.